My name is Nikki Jennings. I'm the Sales Engineering Manager here at SolarWinds. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Performance Pack. Now these are three really outstanding applications that's going to give you a lot of detail information about what's going on in your environment, on your local area network, to your remote locations, and actually what kind of traffic is traversing across your WAN. I was working with a retail customer not too long ago and they had shops worldwide. They had no visibility into what was actually going on with those routers, those switches, interfaces that were throwing errors, discards, users that were getting bumped off the internet, and no way to actually track that information. So today I want to talk about a holistic view with three applications that's going to give you that information from statistics on your devices to what type of traffic is actually going on in your network. Is your quality of service effective? Do you even know? And then lastly, user experiences, all pulled from a technology built inside your routers and switches today. All you have to do is actually just turn that on. Now, the Orion Network Performance Monitor, what you see here on my screen, is able to give us statistics about all devices. So here we're pulling information from a wide array of vendors, and this is all done through SNMP. Remember, we don't use any agents to collect this information. I'm going to go ahead and bump over to the top 10. Now I'm going to look at the top 10 interfaces by percent utilization. On this particular steelhead device, I'm looking at the LAN00 interface. I'm going to hover over that, and of course it's giving us the operational admin status. But what I'm really looking at here is the utilization, the traffic utilization. I'm going to drill down into this particular interface. And as I spoke with this retail customer, we went over these details. And here we were able to actually see what the receive and transmit utilization is. I'm able to pull detailed statistics off of that interface. And then I'm actually able to graph that and trend that information. They were actually putting in more retail stores. They were concerned about not knowing what their baseline of their environment was, adding in more resources to absorb the bandwidth. Um, did they have enough? Should they put in access control list to block users from streaming video or music? No idea what was going on there. So in Orion, remember, we're able to monitor what the CPU load is, memory usage, we're going to get response time and packet loss through ping, and SNMP is going to give us detailed stats that we can actually trend and alert on. Now the next thing is traffic analysis. So for this particular customer, we deployed Orion. We were able to get really good visibility into their environment um, across the world. We were able to set up a baseline and really understand what the utilization was. Now the next thing was, OK, we have that data. What type of traffic is it? Now with our NetFlow traffic analyzer, we can collect NetFlow V5, V9, SFlow, and JFlow. And here we're actually going to pull what type of protocols, what type of endpoints, what domains are actually visiting, the top applications. So this will give you good information as you set those quality of service parameters in your environment. We can actually track that through the NetFlow. As that traffic passes through that filter and comes out to the other side, is it effective? So here we can see that we've got some folks going to YouTube.com, AOL.com, and important information here I can actually see who's doing it so I get conversation information and again guys remember this is actually already there in your devices if you have ASA's or Cisco router switches HP uh, Juniper devices that support a IP flow based protocol we can turn it on and we can collect this data for you and here I'm actually able to see the conversation and the transmit and receive. Now this particular retail shop turned this on and they were blown away by this information. They put in a couple of ACLs to block certain traffic and performance spikes. They were able to deploy or implement these other locations with no additional cost in terms of bandwidth usage. So that was a bonus out of the box right there, return on an investment. Now lastly, we wanted to add in one more functionality. So we have statistics on our devices, we've got a good baseline of our network, we're able to monitor and alert on this data, we're actually analyzing it with NetFlow, so this is all good information. Last thing, what are these users at these re retail locations across the world actually experiencing when they hit an application back at home base? Or uh, DNS servers, DCP servers. So coupled with NetFlow and NPM, 
we're able to actually take advantage of IPSLA. Now remember, IPSLA is a Cisco-based technology. Now it's already there on your routers, you just have to turn it on. And then we can take advantage of these operations. We have DHCP operations, DNS, file transfer protocols, ICMP echo, which I know everyone's truly familiar with. And here on my map, I can actually look at that link in between my ICMP echo. So I can drill down into that and we're able to get those IPSLA statistics. What is the round trip time? Now we're not stopping just there, we can actually report and alert on this data. So with IPSLA, we're able to pull all these statistics utilizing operations that are already there in your routers. So you essentially turn it on, and now I can see from APAC or maybe my office in Cork how those guys and gals are actually affected as they hit these applications back at home base. Now remember, if you've got voice or video traffic traversing your WAN, you need to know if these guys are going to have any problems before there's an actual outage and you're trying to scurry it around to get this information so your users can actually function. Now, voice over IP, UDP, jitter, any of those applications that are sensitive to any type of latency, this is good information to have. Now, for this particular, we're actually taking an HTTP operation. So you can see here, what is the DNS round trip time plus TCP connect round trip time. How long does it actually take to open up that TCP connection? Plus the transaction round trip time. I take all of these three, I add them together, and then I'm going to get the total round trip time. This is good to know. 473 milliseconds might be normal. Depends on what that WAN link is. But we have Orion giving us information about those edge routers. We have NetFlow telling us what type of data is traversing across that WAN link. Now we have IPSLA that's actually going to test these parameters for us all with a simple implementation of three really outstanding performance products. So we call it the performance pack. Now if you go to www.silverwinds.com slash performance, you can download it, evaluate it free for 30 days. It's unlimited, no limitations. If you need any assistance, give us a call. I have a team of engineers here to help you out. Again, my name is Nikki Jennings. Follow me on Twitter at NJennings. I hope to hear from you. We look forward to helping you identify problems in your environment.